Healthcare with patients first, or politics. A new doctor's office in Florida claims to offer patients medical freedom, but this so-called freedom-based medical clinic is now alarming traditional doctors who fear politics is taking priority over patient safety. Investigative reporter Katie Legrone takes us inside and introduces us to some of the clinic's medical staff, whose histories of speaking out have cost them their jobs. In the quiet beachside city of Venice on Florida's west coast, a new health care office is already making waves. I don't understand why people are so judgmental towards us. Here, medical freedom is not just words on a mobile billboard parked outside. We purposely came in to tell you it was uh -huh. great. Uh -huh. It's a guiding principle inside, says co-owner Tanya Perus, who opened the We the People Health and Wellness Center three months ago. What does that mean to you guys here? The freedom to make your own health care decisions without being pushed or forced to do anything that you don't want to do. Marus, a mom of two and former EMT, says she was inspired after what she witnessed during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. People were not going to see their doctor because they were scared, because they didn't want to get vaccinated and felt pressured to do things that they didn't want to do. Perus, local president of the conservative group Moms for America, is part of a grassroots right-wing movement in Sarasota County fueled by the pandemic. At one point, she helped hundreds of parents get signed waivers exempting their kids from school mask mandates. Dates. This is video from that event. We had over 3,000 people in line. It was insane. It was insane. Today, some of the doctors and nurses who signed those forms now work here. And Peru says many of the families they helped are among their estimated 400 patients. This is our patriotic room. Throughout the clinic, images of the American flag hang amid depictions of freedom, liberty, and the Constitution that inspired its name. So there's no political motivation. There's no political motivation. This right, right. here Even though we've got is not political. <laughs> okay. To us, this means freedom. That's all it means. It's a crusade she knows draws public criticism. Are you recording right now? Uh, yeah. Okay, can you stop recording? And she admits distrust in mainstream media. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know why they started recording. During our visit, a photographer suddenly started filming us. I'm sorry, camera's off, but his camera's still on. Even after this doctor asked us all to stop. If he's gonna record, I don't see why. I mean, at a time when freedom has become a popular catchphrase for conservative politics in Florida, Peru says her clinic offers patients an alternative to government controlled health care and what she calls overreach. Here, insurance is not accepted, but ivermectin and hydroxychloroquine, malaria drugs touted by the right but not the FDA to treat COVID, are welcomed and prescribed, while medically proven vaccinations of any kind aren't even an option. So no flu shot? No, ma'am. And what about the child vaccines? We don't do any vaccines here. I spent my entire career as a promoter of traditional childhood vaccines. Dr. Renata Moon is the clinic's pediatrician, whose controversial views on the COVID-19 vaccine left her questioned, investigated, even discredited by her previous employer. We're being silenced and threatened. Before working here, Moon was a licensed doctor in Washington State and professor at Washington State University. What in the world are we being asked to inject into our nation's children? But after publicly questioning the COVID-19 vaccine during this D.C. roundtable one year ago, the university didn't renew her contract. In this letter from the college's dean, Moon is called out for contributing to the possible spread of misinformation. Today, she remains under investigation by the Washington Medical Commission. I would say the world changed. I don't think I changed. These drug companies, they don't create cures, they create customers. Dr. Michelle Scott, who treats adults at the clinic, was recruited after getting fired from an urgent care center for refusing to wear a mask during the pandemic. I had been there 18 months and was ready to leave anyways. Scott is a staunch anti-vaxxer whose personal website is riddled with government criticism and unproven treatments for COVID-19. I don't think I will ever take a vaccine again. Patients we spoke with buy into the clinic's more natural, less government approach. I'm not saying that all the doctors out there are bad, but I think the insurance companies greatly influence what they have to do. Is this clinic doing anything wrong? I guess it depends how you de define wrong. But Dr. Steven Rosenberg, a Florida dermatologist who leads a state panel that determines if a doctor should be disciplined, has concerns. What they're doing is technically legal. It doesn't really match with the standard of care that physicians are accustomed to. There's always somebody who's going to try to take advantage of those uh, individuals who may not be sophisticated enough to really appreciate 
what is the appropriate treatments. So you believe that this is this is a group that's taking advantage of people as opposed to offering them something different. Well, they they found a little niche for themselves of people who you know believe in this and they're taking advantage financially. What do you say, I mean, overall, to people who might hear this and say, okay, you know what, those are a bunch of conservative political activists trying to kind of offer their, you know, quackery. What do you say to them? I don't know quackery. I mean, just because you have a difference of opinion doesn't mean that you're not right in your own way. We have our own thing. Come take a visit, take a tour. In place of insurance, patients are charged a monthly subscription rate ranging from $50 to $160 per month. I'm Katie Legrone for the Florida 24 Network.